Thanks for being patient, everybody. This is a reminder that this being is me meeting is being recorded and posted to YouTube shortly thereafter. Your participation in these meetings is an agreement to abide by the Cloud Native Security Code of Conduct, which can be found within the repository. Um, I believe Ash is going to be one of our scribes today. Do we have another volunteer? If so, please drop your name on the meeting notes, which I have am now sharing in chat. For existing members and working group reps, please remember to include your organization and company along with the working group you're involved with. And if you have an update, um, all right, so I'm going to give everybody a couple of minutes to fill out attendance. And do we have any new members with us today? Doesn't look or sound like it. All right, as folks go through and fill it out, I'm just going to run down the um, triage of current issues. And I will post this in the chat as well. So um, since the last time we did a triage session for the meeting, we've had several new issues that have been opened. Um, the first one I will talk about is Pushkar here. Pushkar is here. Um, Pushkar had submitted issue 747 about potentially doing a V2 of the Cloud Native Security white paper. So if folks are interested in that, I recommend taking a peek at that. And I will drop a link to that issue in the chat. Um, we also have an issue in for Argo to complete a security review of the project. Um, let's see here. I think those are the most recent issues that we have. There are several other issues within the repository. Um, when the triage team meets again, we'll go through and provide a quick update on all of those. But in the meantime, everyone is obviously encouraged to go through and um, provide updates or provide comments on things that are of interest to them. It doesn't look like we have any meeting notes from the other region. Matthew, did we have any, is Matthew on the call? Hold on. Yes, Matthew is on I'm the here. call. Did yeah. we have any talk meeting updates? Uh, I was not able to attend the uh, TOC meeting the other day, regrettably. Hello, hello. And I have a minor cloud custodian update, and that's pretty much it for me today. Okay. Um, then we will go ahead and run through the updates from the attendance. All right. Mike Lieberman, looks like you have an update for us. Sure. Yeah. Um, so it just came out of the um, first um, Salsa spec. Uh, or salsa framework um, community meeting. Um, so for those who aren't aware, salsa is a supply chain security framework. Uh, the initial work was done by um, some Google folks, but it's now part of the open SSF. Um, and they're looking to kind of get increased community engagement in order to sort of, um, uh, you know, make sure that it's not just uh, Googlers working on it. And um, there is, uh, so that initial meeting went uh, fairly well. Um, there are some initial folks who are now part of a steering committee. Um, I'm part of now that, that, that initial steering committee. It's unclear exactly what that's gonna, <laughs> what's that gonna look like? Um, it, uh, but just wanted to kind of bring that up. So uh, CNCF now has some representation 
um, there. I am also willing to hand that representation off to, to somebody uh, else as well. Um, but just wanted to kind of um, bring bring that up because I know uh, in this conversation, as well as some of the stuff with the supply chain security working group, there were some concerns originally like, oh, what's this new thing? Um, it's coming out from, from Google, but we're not sure. It does look like it is going to be, um, you know, driven by the community. Awesome. And if anybody is interested in assisting or getting involved, how would you recommend they reach out? Sure. Um, so there is an open SSF Slack. Uh, there is also the GitHub and I will post uh, both of those inside the meeting notes in a, in a second here. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the, there is the GitHub and there is the open SSF Slack and the Salsa channel in that Slack. That seems to be the um, currently the best way to get engaged. Awesome. Okay. Had to choose a name that constantly makes me hungry, huh? All right. <laughs> uh, Pushkar, you have updates for us? Yes. Can you hear me? I was trying to speak yes. earlier. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I can share my screen if people are interested to discuss more, but we'll go through quickly both the issues. Uh, we discussed about secure by default and what does that mean to the community maybe two, three meetings ago. And the idea was to break out uh, for a dedicated session with somebody presenting on the topic and using the, that as a baseline for the discussion. So I don't see myself being able to spend time to create a presentation, but if anyone is interested, please add a comment to that issue. And uh, if you want to present, we can find some time where, <clears throat> where people can join and we can discuss it. Uh, alternative plan is if there is no, not a lot of enthusiasm here, we can merge this into the version two of the white paper uh, and add it as a separate section in terms of this is our point of view about what secure default should look like. And these are some of the recommendations of how to maybe put implement it in your project. So that's the first issue. And the second one is the white paper version two. Uh, some context on that, we it's almost nine months now since we released the first version. If we plan to release the second by KubeCon EU, that's in May, 2022, that will be nine months more. So I think we are halfway where we can start thinking about version two. We have had good feedback uh, from the survey. We have made a lot of other work and progress on map, uh, lexicon, supply chain white paper, policy white paper, serverless, serverless white paper. And there have been some new threats that have come into the community also, which have gained more focus like supply chain, ransomware and other things. So with all of that, it seemed like we could uh, potentially create a newer version I have added tentative schedule of when maybe we can plan on uh, getting the first draft, then reviews and final uh, publishing around May. So I am assuming all the people who sub worked on the first version would be interested. But uh, if they, if you weren't part of that and want to contribute to version two, you are also welcome. So definitely uh, add a comment on that issue or reach out to me, and we'll. Uh, or maybe keep the issue open for a while and then start picking up some pace around end of August, September and see where we go from there. Awesome, sounds great. Uh, Matthew, you had a minor update on Cloud Custodian. I did, uh, there was a scheduling conflict and we weren't able to put on our usual Tuesday meeting. The original plan was to conduct the meeting Tuesday and then Tuesday of next week would pretty much be, I believe, uh, Rob and uh, Brandon putting together a final presentation for the tag security team. So I'm trying to see if we can get a meeting going before end of week uh, to keep to that approximate schedule. If not, then maybe we'll just end up uh, pushing it out a week and doing our final meeting this coming Tuesday instead of the wrap up video. And that's pretty much it for me. All right. Aradna, you had an update on APAC. Oh, yes, Emily. Um, 
I wanted to have a brief conversation here. Um, I've tried to attend APAC meeting a couple of times, but uh, it seems like the meeting doesn't happen. Um, and when I reached out to folks in APAC region, they said they attend this meeting. So I still think we should have that meeting because that we could potentially get more participants and volunteers in that region. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a doodle. I know there are some conflicts between India time versus Australia time and other um, areas. So if people can respond back to that doodle and provide a timeframe that works for them, then we can set up an initial meeting and discuss initiatives we wanna take over in that group, right? And deliver some um, value and some of the projects out of that. Um, I know it makes sense to have overlap, right? Sometimes you wanna attend US meetings as well, but at the same time, having more focused discussions and work projects will help us as well. So um, please be on the lookout for that doodle and I look forward to hearing back from you guys. Thank you. Awesome, that sounds great. And Aradna, that'll be in the main tag security channel, correct? Yes. Awesome. I will, thank you. Okay, so I think I have gone through any updates from the attendance listing. Did I miss anybody? Okay, um, we don't actually have a planned agenda beyond discussing the APAC meeting in that region um, or other future regions. Does anybody have any new topics, new ideas, new things they want to talk about, issues that were presented and you want to talk more in depth about? Maybe Emily, I had one question on the micro survey and how it sort of ties back to the other survey we did a few months ago and what the intended outcome is of maybe both the surveys and how it impacts the roadmap. Yeah, so the micro survey was a request from the CNCF to put together a focus survey on cloud native security explicitly. So the separate from the cloud native security white paper and getting feedback on the paper. This is more for, is the security technical advisory group visible amongst end users and amongst, amongst the community? So do people know that we, are, we exist? Um, do they know what it is that we do? The products that we produce either through papers or reference architectures? Um, and how useful the content that we generate is, whether or not they're even aware that Cloud Native Security Con exists, or if the white paper exists, the supply chain paper. So the idea behind the microsurvey is to give us more concrete feedback to, the, to our potential customer set to understand what their needs from a Cloud Native Security group look like so that we can better respond and produce more actionable materials, references, guides, et cetera, for them. So that, that's the key point of it. Um, it should be closing, I think, within the next month if it hasn't already closed. Um, if you haven't responded to the survey or you haven't retweeted it or shared it, please do so. Having the most amount of feedback on that survey would significantly help us. We also have uh, use cases and industry types within our repository or use cases and personas within the repository that are in strong need of an update and we could potentially use the results of the micro survey and the cloud native security paper um, survey to help uh, finalize that or update it and drive more thoughtful project engagement to understand who we're really making these things for. Does that help? Yes, yes, that makes a lot of sense to me. Emily, how can folks find the link to this survey? Is it via email already sent out on the channel, on the thread? It was sent out to the Cloud Native Security mailing list and it was on Twitter a while. I believe we posted it in the channel, but I cannot recall offhand. We can certainly repost it in the channel so folks are aware that it exists. And if you are not part of the Cloud Native Security mailing list, please go ahead and sign up for that. What other questions or topics do folks want to discuss? 
I know we've got a lot of projects ongoing. Everybody's having great, great meetings and discussing content in those working sessions. No, but thanks for always keeping everything together, Emily. I feel like you do a lot of heavy lifting, lifting so thank you. I, I do have one question. It might be off topic, so please cut in if this uh, isn't relevant, but do we have a sort of a team that reviews, uh, I guess, cloud native or technical documentation, kind of similar to how we ourselves as a team oversee projects, especially those looking for CNCF graduation? Are there any teams or groups that we know of or work with that do things like that, but for say technical documents and tutorials, kind of like peer or community review? Um, so the CNCF has technical documentation. Amy, you could probably talk to this better than I can. I know that it's available as a resource for some projects, but I don't believe that there is an established group beyond that. I did reach out to the tech docs team on it. I just wanted to make sure I'm uh, pointing myself in the right direction. <laughs> I'm just being your silent partner over here in chat. Um, I've already met, directed Matthew over towards uh, Tech Docs, but um, it's good to be able to ask in here to see if anyone is interested as well to be able to kind of bring this up. So, I can shelve that for now, but uh, just thought I'd bring it up. And uh, if I figure out more uh, and it's relevant, I'll post an update in the future. Okay, anything else? I'm more than happy to give folks back their time. All right, um, I posted a link to details about the survey in the chat. I'll make sure that that also goes in the channel as well. Okay, With nothing further. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. <laughs>